Hello everyone and welcome back to Expeditions Vikings. I almost said Viking Expeditions. But in the last episode we managed to fend off an attack to the south of the village by northern men and it is now time for us to head to the north where the fighting is still raging. Uh, however, before we go we are going to quickly see if there are any better weapons on these scallywags that may be able to help us out there. Let's grab everything. It seems that it's mostly uh, crafting materials, that sort of thing. Anything else, maybe? Yeah, it could be. Nope. And indeed, nope. Well, scallywags. Scallywags, scallywags, and scoundrels. Uh, let's actually just double check. Did we get anything? Well, we've got a knife. But that... You know what? Hmm. I'm going to take that off. Uh, you've... Uh, uh, her basic armor is made of simple quilted cloth that her mother reluctantly made for her at your father's insistence. You know what? As much as it makes sense for me to use, give the best armor to our frontline attacker, I'm not going to take armor off her that her mother made for her. Damn it. That's special mother made armor. Uh, let's see. What have we got over here? I know it's got nothing to do with it being a, a, a woman's woman's uh, clothing. If if it makes more sense, I would happily have given that up. But I can't take her armor off her that her mother gave her. That's like taking the tree star off little foot. No. Right. Okay. Uh, ooh, we got a lot of people here. Ooh, we've got Sigurd. Uh, okay. Not quite close. There's a lot of attackers there. Thankfully, uh, as Leafier is. Currently dealing with that, but we're going to need to get into this pretty quickly. Uh, who have we got here? Okay, so what have you got? You can throw stones, rebuke, you can have hook and slash, full action. It would remove uh, a shield, though. You've got a shield, you've got a shield as well. Well done. We're going to move in close. We're just going to kind of uh, uh, pin you there for now. Uh, Nephi, where are you? There you go. We're going to want your threat and blast. You're not going to get in very close, are you? Um, I'll have you move in. You can just get in close. From there, you can attack. Actually, I'll move you back one. From there, you can attack either. Anyway. Uh, now, how many enemies? We've got one over there. Two here. Enemy, elim Eliminate all enemies remaining. Three. Enemy reinforcements will arrive in two turns. And in five turns. Oh, is it possible that we might actually be able to end this quickly if we can kill them fast enough? That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, right, well, in that case, let's have you guys move up. And um, it doesn't actually appear that we have anyone who can poison this time. That is a bit of a, a bit of a pain. All right, how are you? Ooh, you've got a new ability. Aimed shot, full action, negates distance penalties to hit. And grants a 5% point bonus to critical hit chance. But it is a full action. If I use this, what's your chance of hitting them? Pretty good, actually. Pretty good. Yeah, go for it. Because we're going to need to kill them. Okay, then we're not going to get this out in two turns. I don't think it's possible. for. Oh, I should have launched that first. That was silly of me. Uh, I could stun one and attack the other. Uh, I think that might be a good idea. Let's go for a stun on you. It'll prevent you from being able to uh, do anything next turn. Also, it'll additionally prevent you from being able to block their stun. So we've got a good chance of doing a lot of damage here. <laughs> well, only 35. That's fine. So not a problem. But we could then move over there if we really wanted to. I don't particularly want to, though. Uh, you two can still attack. How much chance have you got? 35% chance there, 35 here. How about we drop this there? There we go. This is what I should have done with Sigurd. But alas, that was a bit of a derp. Okay, so we can go here for 45. Uh, sure, let's go for that. So this is mostly down to whether you can actually hit rather than them dodging, because they can't. They cannot dodge. Uh, as for you... They're spotted, so it actually does does um, trigger on them as well. Well, I might be able to just take you out then. That would not be bad. There we go. Very nicely done. Now, a couple of people have asked if it would make any difference if I had this on or not. Uh, we'll turn it off. We'll see if maybe we can take some thralls. 
that would be quite useful because I do know that thralls are a limited resource in the city building components of the game. So uh, that will come in quite handy. Um, sure, let's move you up here then in that case. Might even be able to get... Is throwing a rock a free action? Doing damage on hit, but with no critical chance. Like with any... Really? I can just lob up... I can just pelt him with stones? You've got a 5% chance to hit. Ah, we'll do it anyway. 5%. Yeah, I'm not going to do anything else. He's harried. Yeah, it's not going to make any difference, realistically speaking. Uh, still, it was kind of funny. Block. Ah, oh, scallywags. You're demoralizing us. Oh, you wretch. You utter, utter wretch. All right, well, time for me to drop this over there. Hopefully pull you out of hiding. There we go. Followed up with an aim shot. Got 11% chance of a crit now. Oh, that would have been so much better of a, a shot earlier. So, so unfortunate that I forgot about that. I feel that we've possibly lost our opportunity now to uh, take them out with that. Unless... Uh, that range is going to be brutal on us, though. Um, possibly... All right, charge up. Oh, no way. <laughs> really, there was a spot of ice there. Scallywags. Ah, rubbish. Rubbish. Oh, drat, his uh, shield absorbed the majority of that. Okay, well, I could have you move up here. You'd be in as good a position as uh, Sigurd to take shots, but I oh, actually no. Covered. Oh, okay. Fair enough then. Uh, looks like we're going for you instead then. Pretty well. I do forget that people provide cover, and I like that. Not many games like this actually have a mechanic along those lines. Very few games, in fact, have that kind of mechanic. I could taunt. I'm not going to bother. It's funny though. Oh, there we go. Critical hit. A sad fact that you wasted that on a shield. But on the plus side, we can now move in. And deal some real damage. There's no chance of this blocking now. But we are going to get enemy reinforcements in one turn. A shame. There we go. But they're all spotted for now. Uh, they're pulling back. Oh, they're healing. Okay, well, I'm fine with you wasting your turns on that. Oh dear, you've got a spear much as... Ooh, okay, you are nowhere near as dangerous as Nephia. Very well. Ah, bracing. You can repair the shield even when it's fully destroyed. Ah, wasn't aware of that. That is something I'm going to have to bear in mind for the future then. Going all the way around. Okay. Right, well, we're back on our feet, finally. Uh, right, well, you can hit them with a fairly good chance. 70, well, 70%, but if we go with this, it's 82, so go for it. If we're lucky, it's going to tie up their healer again. And they're not going to get much more done. Right, well. Hmm. Could use this as my attack action, though. Uh, Nephia. I would love it if you could take him out for me. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, next up. Will you go for a shot? No, you're in cover. You're not. Nor are you, actually. Will you have a... We have got a chance of taking you out straight away. Or I could use Tears Favor. Got a couple of combatants here. Um We'll see. We'll see whether we need that first. You've got no chance to hit him. No chance to hit though, that's a very unfortunate position then. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to pull down a little bit. Then try for the shot. Nope, still in cover. Still in cover. How what? Ugh, damn these full covers. Alright, well, I'm going to use my free action then to get you to pop your head up. There we go. Now that he's no longer there, I'll return to our position over here and take a shot. There we go, that'll work. 50% chance. It's not great. I could go for a cripple, which would prevent you from moving forward, but you've got a reach weapon, so you don't need to, strictly speaking. 
Very good shot. I am impressed. Very impressed, in fact. Uh, I've got a 9 to 5 here. I could probably take you out. Let's make this happen, shall we? Three more turns for the reinforcements. We've already pulled them down by quite a number. Uh, okay. I almost want to have you just charge over there and get involved. Very, very tempted. Can you reach them? No, you're a little bit far away. Um... Well, looks like we're going to go in for the attack then. Let's do our best. That was a good hit. If we're lucky, then Azlifir will hit the shield as well. And now I, the odd thing with me to say, but they will. The AI seems to care more about the shield than other things, so it probably wastes its turn trying to repair that. Uh, Nephia, I would like you to run forward, get closer, and then you can possibly get in there and do some real damage. Um, as for you, let's get you out here. And myself, I'm going to move up as well. In a fairly good position, I think. Demoralizing again, the scallywags. And again, all of the demoralizing. <laughs> that was nasty. That was very nasty. All right. Um... Well, let's go for a name shot first. You can hit either one. Let's go for it. Wow, you've got a good chance to hit either one. Good, 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 good. All right, Nephew. Uh, yeah, just go ahead. Charge forward, take them out. The reinforcements arriving in two turns. Um, we'll see about that one. I could move up and just attack. Sure. Got a 48% chance. It's not great, but I'll take it. Oh my lord, you almost hit Nevia! Uh, Alright, well, we'll charge up. Take another attempt. Slightly better, but still a 1 and 2. Go either way. There we go. Perfect. Now, these are all being uh, incapacitated. Uh, right. I would deeply like you to use your uh, hook. Pull away the shield. And then go for the regular attack. Perfect. And now I can follow that up with this. It's not going to be enough to kill, unfortunately. That is a deep shame. And they've used their turn to brace. Excellent. Buys them a little bit of time, but not enough for them to really make uh, use of it. Uh, we could shoot from here. It's not a problem because they're being forced to stand up anyway. There we go. And they're down. Is that it? No. Okay, so... We need to move into position now, then. Now, the last one... Do, do we know which, where they're going to come from? Do we have any idea? I don't think we do. But they've, the the last group came from this side, so I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare for the same. I'm gonna move into position over here. There we go. You can come up here as well and help out. Now there is a potential that they may just get the first turn. I don't know if if this positioning it's kind of. Um, just guesswork, really, if this is going to be a good move or not, but we'll see. Uh, I could, at this point, use Tira's favor. Yeah, sure. We'll boost everyone's um, damage reduction for this turn. I would like you in interrupt. You can't have interrupt. Uh, actually, I could go for this, I suppose. Sure. Go for interrupt, and we'll see how that goes. Oh, they did come from this side. Glorious. Spotted. Getting an interrupt action. Very nice. Already harried. Oh. Ouch. Oh, it triggered an attack of opportunity. How annoying is that? My goodness. From what I can tell, and they've used Tira's favor as well, he spawned next to her, and thus... By using a ranged weapon in melee combat, it provoked an attack of opportunities. Like, Scallywags! 
That's not what I intended. Not what I intended at all. Uh, we can go for them. Good chance of it, too. Uh, how about we do this instead? We're going to take a chance to get two shots. Good. Followed up by... Yeah, sure. 62. It's better than half. There we go. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Swap weapons. Um... Actually, you can just finish them off. There we are. Thank you. Uh, right. Do I have anyone who... I uh, don't. Don't really. Okay, well... Go ahead, nephew. Might be able to finish you off in one go. Not quite that lucky, unfortunately. I could take you out with that. I'm Okay, well, given that, then, I'm going to move in and stun the archer. And there's a good chance, a very good chance, that if I just move up here, there's nothing they're going to be able to do against the attack that's coming. There we go, 95% chance. And they're down. This is a good, good attack, I feel. We, we did well here. Very well. We'll move up a little bit closer. And go for a regular shot. 83% chance. Pretty good. There we go. And that's our turn. Except, well, you know what? Sure, we'll we'll move everyone in who can. Oh, they're stunned. So they actually don't have a zone of control right now. So we're just going to move right up next to them and get ready for this attack. There we go. And, um... Uh, nephew, you can you can have the uh, honor of the kill, or rather the incapacitation. Indeed, there is. That was actually pretty good. I feel we did very well considering how many enemies were involved in that. Well, they were trickling in. Uh, Helmfrider, their tool axe is broken, or rather, durability has gone down just slightly. As the last attacker goes down, a sudden calm falls over your immediate surroundings, which almost makes the battle seem like a distant thing. Ethelfira's voice shakes you out of it. I'm glad you got here in time. These bandits are tough. Well equipped, too. Ours is not the first village they've attacked. Uh, Torfin, the carpenter, appears from behind two... Oh, sorry, between two houses. His apron encrusted with soot and grime. He sounds short of breath. Ah, oh my dear boy, I'm so glad you're alive. The raider's leader is headed towards the longhouse. He snuck another group around the village and got in from the east. Okay, that is where we're heading next then. Uh, see, we may be able to get some better weapons. Uh, valuables, no, rations, okay, fair enough. Anything there? No, no more better weapons this is quite unfortunate. Ooh, single-edged sword. Uh, take that. Anything else? I wonder if there's a better chance of getting loot if you take someone, if you incapacitate someone over killing them. I have no idea. Can we can we get that one? Might have to rotate the camera for that angle. Is there any way we can? No. Anyway, uh, there, there we go. Perfect. Right. Let's quickly have a look. Uh, single edged sword. Is that better than what you've got? Seven fourteen and seven fourteen. No, it's uh, single edged sword. is exactly the same thing. Okay, fair enough. Right. Well, we are headed back to the longhouse. And on our way, we'll grab what we can, because there's a small chance that we might be able to find some sort of weapon, maybe. No, it doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Right, group up on me. Um, right, okay, Let's, we'll take the camera around a bit. Right, who are we dealing with? You're halted in your tracks by an apparition. Outside your longhouse stands a man who almost defies description. He's a giant. His fur-lined shirt is barely capable of confining his bulging muscles. He is holding a weapon in each hand, and his stance calls to mind a bull in heat. That's rather vivid. By far, his most outstanding feature, however, is his beard. It's the sort of beard you might expect to find adorning the face of a Jotun. It looks like a bear crawled onto his chin and died. <laughs> oh my lord! The giant's attention is not on you. Two of his raiders appear out of the longhouse, each carrying a large sack of what you must assume to be your possessions. Well, 
Just an old woman and a weakling. They offered no resistance. <gasps> the giant frowns. I trust you didn't harm them. Not a hair out of place on either of their heads, Gunnar. Just as you said. Okay. Well, my initial death to the raiders has been quelled somewhat by that. Uh, you better drop those sacks and draw your weapons. Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them out. Oh, well, actually... No, that little... Maybe I would have just gone straight into attack, but I... There's clearly a little bit more going on here. Or at least my curiosity has been piqued. What in Odin's name is the meaning of this? There you are. Okay. The three raiders turn towards you as one. Immediately, the sacks hit the mud and the weapons leave their leaves. There you are. Let's be quick about this. Okay, straight into combat. Very well, I'm a little bit disappointed, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this looks like a well place done. For a nap. Well done. You resisted the stun, I believe it said. Yeah, I might be wrong, but... Oh, you didn't resist the hand it down. Never mind, never mind. I forgive you. I forgive you, because that was awesome. Really? Why? Why are you... Uh, never mind, you can be too... <laughs> Spears Ah, awesome. <laughs> Super awesome. Right. What I'm going to desperately need from you. This is a desperate need. I need you to be here. And I need you to stun. Ooh, it's flanked. You've just flanked an enemy. This will give both characters a bonus to the damage they deal to the flanked enemy. Flanking is only applied when two characters are on directly opposite sides of the enemy. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's actually very nice. But, uh, we're still favoured by Tyr, are we? No. Oh no, he's favoured by Tyr, I believe. No, what I want is a stun. The reason why I want a stun is that it removes his zone of control. So, with that, we can move out. Sure, let's move down here. Uh, I'll drop a ranging shot there. There we go. Now, what kind of shots have we got? 93. Wow. Seriously? Uh, no. They apparently... I mean, it could just be they're lying, but apparently... But the thing is, they were talking amongst themselves. They didn't realise I was overhearing. Gunnar seemed to be genuine about the not hurting them, so I'm going to give the benefit of doubt and go for non-lethal regardless here. Missed? Really? That was a good sh um, possibility of the attack, too. A little bit surprised by that one. Little bit surprised. I uh, could move down there and we'd have cover, but... Mm, dodgy one. I think moving up here is a better idea. Could go for a cripple attack. Takes away all of the target's moves on the next turn if it hits. I've got a 9 of us. Yes. Okay. Don't want you getting into this fight until I'm ready for you to. There we go. That's what we need. That is what we need. You. Uh, uh, how annoying. Please don't slip. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Nephew walked on a slippery patch of ice, but managed to keep their footing. I approve. Right. That's good enough for you. You can hold tight there. And turn. Right. They have forced... How did you get to move? Oh! No! Oh, no! Kettle! I should learn how to fight. Oh, Kettle, why? Well, epic levels of poop. Should have given me more cover, really. It's one. This one will be at 63. Please make it work. It's fine. It's fine. At least you hit once. It's good. Uh, okay. Well, sure. There we go. Nice. Um... Could proc this forces the target to move their full movement toward the user. That would have been an interesting one. I mean, it's it's not forcing them to attack. It's forcing them to use up all of their movement. I think that one... Oh, we could possibly... Could I force you to get an attack of opportunity? This is, this is for sciencing. Yes, it works! <gasps> that is awesome. But you are now flanked. That is not awesome. Well, hmm. uh, that that did not work as well as I had intended. 
but for science, you see. Super important for science things. Um, poop. I could force someone to have an attack of opportunity. No, we'll see how this plays out. Well done. I was just stunned. Ooh. You were stunned and they ran. And Nethia did not get an attack of opportunity there. That is interesting. Uh, it's probably a, a limited amount of attacks of opportunity. Okay. Uh, Nephew, you're in a bit of a rough spot. Okay, you need to get in there. And you need to deal damage. Stop them using their bow. That crunch was your maker calling you home. Wow, Nephew gets a bit vicious. I prove. Uh, Alright, well that's ice. Dislike you having that cover, frankly. So we're going to move over here. From here, you have no cover. There we go. Is their leader going down going to stop them? Ah, poop. It did not. Okay, how's this going to pan out? Oh, no, nephew. Also incapacitated, though, not dead. Oh, this fight is going much worse than the last one. Uh, 28% chance there, sure. If we can just get a, a single hit, that would be good enough. Blocked, completely blocked, no less. Alright. Almost down. Right, I'm afraid you're charging in. I cannot afford for them to use their bow anymore. Hello. Oh, ouch. Never mind, not terribly bad. Tactical move forced them to move, and they have lost their turn as a result. Um, you know what? At this range, we've probably got a good chance to hit both of these shots. Never mind. One down. Cannot make that second shot. That is unfortunate. Okay. Well, let's get in there quickly now, because the longer they're incapacitated, the more chance they're going to sustain a permanent injury as a result. Right, they both got up. Good. Let's see. Fingers crossed, everyone. Ah, moderate puncture on the arm. Mm, that is unfortunate. Okay. Kettle was down for quite a number of turns, though. We'll have to see how that affects it. Gunner fights with the strength of three men, but eventually he falls, as all his men do. While you pause to catch your breath, the giant pulls himself up onto his knees. His voice booms despite his injuries. Well, that was rousing. It's been a very, very long time since I met anyone who could match me in battle. He shakes his head and grins. I did not expect to find such strong warriors here in this tiny village. I thought you unprotected. I see that I was wrong. I know when I'm beaten. I surrender. Kessel places a hand on your shoulder. We shouldn't kill him. At least not yet. We might be able to get something useful out of him when the dust is settled. Find a safe place and lock him up. And don't leave him unattended. Kettle fetches a few more of your clansmen and they tie Gunner up with enough knots to pacify a frenzied bull. The huge man makes no effort to resist as they take him away. Um, clansmen consider you loved. Oh, fantastic. I'm loved by my clan. Well, that uh, changed, uh, changed rather swiftly. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, see what they had. Some medicine, good. We might need that for poor Kettle. A water skin. Um, puts out fire, so that's quite useful. Well, I'll give that to someone. I'm not sure who might use it, but I'll just give it to someone. Right, how does this affect you? Ooh, strength is down. Um, axes are swords and affects physical resistance. Strength is essential for warriors and will occasionally enable knockouts and other physical feats in dialogue. <sighs> That's unfortunate, but it doesn't directly affect Kettle's primary weapon. Uh, ironically, because realistically, using a bow does require a reasonable amount of strength, especially a, a powerful bow, but uh, I guess it, it is a game at the end of the day. Okay, well, that was an interesting fight, but it is time now to check on our mother and brother. Oh, thank goodness he wasn't lying. 
Okay, let's uh, move in a little bit. Astrid did. Rurik creaks the door open, holding a knife behind his back. Seeing your face, he steps away from the door to let you in. You're alive! Your mother grasps both your arms as though to make sure you're still firmly attached. Or they are. And you're in one piece! Oh, thank the spirit! Are you both unscathed? We're fine. Two of those brutes came in here and pilfered the silverware, but they didn't harm us. Um, and you didn't even try to fight them, Rurik? Uh, no, I'm not going to do that to my brother. It's good you offered no resistance. They knew how to fight. Um, no, because that's effectively saying the same thing, but in a nicer way. I'm going to apologize that I wasn't here to protect them. Rurik shakes his head and drops his knife to the floor in disgust. You wouldn't have had to if I were a stronger man. Oh, Rurik. Your mother puts a hand on Rurik's shoulder, and he places his hand on hers. Don't trouble yourself. Tell me, what happened outside? Is everyone safe? We beat the raiders and we've captured their leader, and actually quite a few of the raiders. Astridir pulls you into a warm embrace. I'm so proud of you. You truly are your father's son, not in front of Rurik. I feel that he's probably a bit sensitive about this right now. Something is amiss. Why were they, the beacons not lit in warning? And the timing is so very convenient for our enemies. Perhaps we should talk to the giant, now that he is at our mercy. He led them here. He must be able to tell us why. Hmm. See what you can find out. I have Rurik here to help me clean up the mess. Hmm. Uh, let's go and see if Rurik's okay. No, no, Rurik doesn't want to talk. Very well. Uh, right, well, we're heading back out. But we're going to find out what the damage is in total and also speak with the uh, with the bear of a man, Gunnar, in the next episode. I do hope you've enjoyed this one, though, and will be joining me for the next. But now as ever, do remember to like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time... Do take care.